just minutes away from downtown Bentonville, in a town steeped in history, you'll see a glimpse of the future. Maybe you've noticed the zipline platform dubbed The Nest, built in the summer of 2021 as part of a partnership with Walmart. Over the last several months, Zipline has been launching and landing orders straight to the homes of nearby Pea Ridge residents. Uh, we have probably about 500 or so flights, uh, not just customer orders, but a lot of training and practicing uh, for our own good. What you'll see and hear on any given day from The Nest is a process-driven launch utilizing cutting-edge technology. It looks and sounds like this. Control off, zipline 964, correction, 962 is ready for motor spin and launch. Airspace is clear, launch area is clear, headwind. Copy, control is ready, airspace is clear, with good, clear to spin motors launch, zipline 962. Clear to spin motors and launch, zipline 962. Spinning motors! <laughs> Launching zipline 962 in three, two, one! The process ends with a delivery that looks like this, as zipline drones seamlessly move select products through the skies and into the hands of customers. But what happens before the delivery, before the launch, is a fusion of precision and cutting edge technology that reminds us that the future really is right here in our backyard. We asked Zipline remote pilot in command and flight operator Annie to show us how it works from online order to touchdown. So we have an app uh, that Zipline has built um, and it uh, works through Walmart. So they'll actually place the order on Zipline. Uh, it's gonna come through our systems here and we'll start packaging it up. We try to make material that uh, is easy to throw away or recycle. Okay, and then uh, we've got a device, uh, a phone, <laughs> that's gonna go ahead and uh, get this QR code that we've created. And this is how we assign it to the actual uh, zip that we're gonna fly. All right, so once we uh, have it scanned, then this is how we associate it with this specific aircraft. And uh, we'll get it assigned in there. And once it's assigned, Go ahead and uh, insert it in. So we just get the parachute up in there, just in a clip. And there's bungee cords in here that are gonna assist us uh, when it opens up for delivery, it'll push it out. So just push these in and then it's ready to go. All right, so we place body on here and uh, it is modular. So we've got a few pieces that we'll put together. Um, our maintenance tech is then gonna grab our wing and then we'll grab a battery. And the battery is uh, not only the battery, but the brains of the system as well. It'll store uh, the route that it's going on. And the nice thing about the modular way that we do things is that if something is broken, um, or if there's an issue with any of our components, then at that point we can swap out just that one component and continue on with the process. So now our maintenance tech is going to start doing the pre-flight inspection and the scanning of it. So uh, we've got these codes on here that he's going to go ahead and, and scan and it runs through all of its pre-flight actions and uh, it's going to let us know uh, that everything is good to go with the aircraft. As a flight operator, uh, it's my job to do a pre-flight inspection, uh, just kind of like you would do on a regular aircraft. So that is our part. The system is still thinking about uh, all the pre-flight right now. Uh, so once it is done, it'll let us know that the system is uh, ready for flight. Uh, so we're just waiting on that process. Maintenance is now doing paperwork as well uh, to ensure that all of our pieces are uh, recorded as far as which ones we're using together um, and certified. So. From here, Annie and the Zipline team conduct an array of technical and visual safety checks. It's an impressive operation, both efficient and thorough. It all leads to the drone launch into the skies of Pea Ridge, delivery, and return to the nest. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs>